Well, obviously, I'm not happy that it's happened. I mean, no warden in my position would like something like this to happen. But the facts are, uh, I'm happy to announce that we have uh, Mr. Lane back in our custody. Uh, he never made any comment at all. I, I personally saw him. Uh, he never said anything at all. Now that was the warden, Kevin Jones, of the Allen Oakwood Correctional Institute in the Lima area. He was being pressed for answers as to how convicted Chardon High School shooter T.J. Lane escaped from the facility last night. So far, not a lot of answers are being given as the investigation continues. We can tell you that classes in Chardon were canceled for today as the escape put fear in many. I'm happy to announce that we have uh, Mr. Lane back in our custody. Police captured 19-year-old T.J. Lane early this morning, just yards away from the Lima, Ohio prison from which the self-confessed murderer escaped. With the help of the sheriff's office uh, and the troopers that were in the area, they were able to shut the perimeter down pretty quick. So that's why he wasn't able to get out any further than he did. Thursday night, Lane and two others climbed over a fence at the Allen Oakwood Correctional Institution during a recreational break. By Friday morning, all three have been captured. Lane is serving three life sentences for opening fire in early 2012 at Chardon High School east of Cleveland. We have an active shooter at the high school. Witnesses said Lane walked into the cafeteria and started shooting, hitting five students and killing three. Many recall a smug and smiling Lane in court as family members of victims spoke. He is repulsive. The, the escape alarmed Chardon High School students not something that anyone wants to go through. It's like reliving it again. And again this afternoon, T.J. Lane is in custody. Stay with WKBN as our news team continues to dig into this case. We'll be sure to pass along any updates to you both on air and online as more questions are answered.